when the staging deploy passes, but the production doesn't, is usually a sign of something that's a stage prod parity issue. There's usually something that's not equivalent in, uh, to production in the staging environment. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the reasons that we have the concept of staging within the bootstrap and not just development and production. I've had numerous times working as an application developer where we wrote things. I used to work with Django a lot in Python. And Django uses has an ORM built into it, Object Relational Mapper, right? And uh, those are notoriously non-performant for certain situations. So then you need to write some hand-tuned SQL to make it work for getting your objects out of your database. And so what I've had happen in those situations is it worked great in development when we were working on a fixed set of data. And when we tried to run it then at scale, it would completely tank the production system. And so staging in that particular application team where I worked at a previous company was designed to be a scale test. So we had a, a, a fork of production traffic that we would sanitize and then we would run all of our all of our migrations and all of our code against it and our end-to-end -end tests to make sure that it that all of our API endpoints were still responsive at scales of tens of thousands of records rather than just 10 records. Yeah, that's right. So usually when I run into those kinds of situations, I, I ask ourselves like what was different about staging that was not present in production and how do we update our staging system? Mm -hmm.